Hello happy people, I'm back with another video and today I have another swatch video for you all. Um, today I'm going to be uh, swatching some acrylic powders from the company Eden's Rose. This is a small woman owned, black owned business and so I just wanted to bring you all her fall collection. I did recently haul this in one of my previous videos so I'll definitely link that for you all. But yeah, stay tuned to see how these beautiful acrylic powders perform. Okay, happy people. I want to show you all me swatching these acrylics so you can kind of get an idea of how they work out. So I want you all to see how these Eden's Rose acrylics perform. So I'm just going to go ahead and get to swatching. Um, the first one I want to swatch here is Pink Lady. Let's see. Yeah, Pink Lady. And I'm going to use um, my acrylic brush. Um, this is just like a cheapy acrylic brush that I got from my beauty supply store. I've previously used this brush, which is what I've used so far to swatch or use any of my acrylic powders. The gold finger round acrylic brush in the number five. And this one is the flat acrylic brush in the number six. So I wanted to try out a flat brush. Then I have my dappin dish here to the side with my Young Nails monomer. So I'm going to go ahead and see how these products perform. I have my swatch stick here. Okay. Ooh. It looks beautiful. Yeah, I like. I like this. I like it a lot. Um, what I like about it is that it's really not sticking to the um, brush and it seems nice and firm once you set it down. So that's a nice quality here that I like from this acrylic. These seem nice and smooth. I'm loving this so far. This is really easy to work with. Wow. I love it. It's not sticking to the brush or anything. I'm loving, loving, loving it. This is super easy to work with. I'm impressed. You see how when I set it down, it's like nice and firm, but it still kind of gets smooth too. I'm liking that. It's self-leveling. I like this a lot. You see how it just smoothed itself out? Just gonna take just a tiny, tiny more and just fill this little spot in down here. Yeah, I'm loving this. So this is the first swatch here. This is Pink Lady. I love this color. It's absolutely stunning. That is a really pretty pink. Yeah, that's nice. Okay, so that's the first acrylic powder here. The next one I'm going to swatch is, let's see. Next I have Honey Mustard. And this was actually the color I was most excited about getting from the collection because yellow is actually my favorite color. So yeah, y'all, let's see how she swatches. It's looking very promising. So far, so good. This flat acrylic brush is kind of interesting to work with. So we'll see. Um, I feel like I'm not able to get like as precise of a, of a drop or um, bead, I guess. I'm not really sure what I'm trying to say, but it's different to work with than the... Um, the round brush tip, but that has nothing to do with these acrylics. These acrylics are swatching beautifully. And this color is so stunning. Look at that. So beautiful. Oh my God, I love this so much. I am impressed with these acrylics, okay? I'm very, very impressed. 
Definitely something I can see myself getting more of. Very, very impressed so far. Yes. So I wanna just kinda of round this up here at the top. Yeah, that's beautiful. Look how easy that was. That's beautiful. Look at this yellow. Oh my God, I have a feeling this is definitely gonna be my favorite color from the collection. Like, look how stunning this is. I love this yellow. I can't wait to give this a try on my nails. Like, yeah, that's gonna be really cute. Super cute. Okay, so that is Honey Mustard from the collection. And then the next color I have here is Pumpkin Spice. And this, I remember, was like a really beautiful orange color, the beautiful gold glitter to it. So let's see how this one swatches. These are all swatching really beautifully. I'm not even gonna, not even gonna lie. This stuff, it looks super easy to work with. What's interesting about this is like when you set the bead down, it looks a little bit dry, but it's not. Like it still self levels, and it's super easy to work with. Like <laughs> I'm impressed with these. Very, very impressed. It's like, like butter. I'm loving it. Absolutely loving it. Yeah, y'all, this stuff is just too easy. Like, it takes me like two beads and I'm done. Like, very impressed. I think I'm gonna just lay another bead down just to kinda build the opacity here at the tip. But these are gorgeous. These are absolutely stunning colors. Like, look at this. Lovely. So this here is Pumpkin Spice. Like I said, it's a beautiful orange color that has those uh, fine gold glitters to it. So I'm going to put that right here. And then the next color I'll be swatching is, let's see here, Peacock. And I know this is like a beautiful blue color. Ah, uh, yes. Such a gorgeous color. This collection is just so beautiful. That's why I had to have it. Like I was on her website looking around and I was like, this, this collection is speaking to my soul right now. Like I need to have all of these. <laughs> so let's see how Peacock swatches. Beautifully. It's, you see how when you set it down, it's not moving, but then it like self levels. I'm impressed. I'm very, very impressed with this powder. Very, very impressed with this powder. Yeah, I might need to go back and get some more of her powders. I like this. color is so beautiful. This one looks kind of splotchy as I'm swatching it though, so maybe it's just how I'm applying it. There we go. Is that a 
build up the opacity there a little bit. I feel about this flat top brush so I should maybe I should have just stuck with my basic brushes when I did this swatch video but otherwise these colors are swatching beautifully I think what I'm having a hard time with is this flat brush the way it lays the acrylic down is a bit a bit too wide for me or maybe I'm just not used to it just yet so I feel like it's it's a little bit of a denser brush than the other one too so I feel like it's picking up more product than I want it to when I'm just doing my light swipe at the top. So yeah, but otherwise it still looks very beautiful though. It still swatched beautifully. Yes. Yeah, this is beautiful. Okay, so this here is Peacock. Really beautiful blue. Love this so much. And then Let's see. And then the last color we have here is charcoal. And that's what that looks like. I saved this one for last because <laughs> it's a darker color and I did not want to mess up the integrity of these other swatches. So I'm going to go ahead and just swatch this one too and see how she do. I'm finding with this acrylic too, um, if you pick up the bead, wait five seconds, set the bead down, wait another five seconds, it's like the perfect consistency to work with. So that's just the tip, at least for me when using this, these powders. So you wet your brush, you tap, 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 wait five seconds, set it down, wait five seconds, and then it's okay to work with. Can you see? I feel like that makes it like the perfect consistency to work with. All right, you guys. So that here is the collection. So I'm gonna come through and show you all each of the colors up close individually, and I'll be right back. Okay, so I do have all the colors swatched here. I'm just gonna show you all up close to all the colors again. So this color right here is Pink Lady. This color looks absolutely stunning swatched. And this is what it would look like if it had a top coat on it. So that's that. Here is Honey Mustard. This is probably one of my favorites for sure. Mainly because yellow is my favorite color and I was really looking for a good Honey Mustard. But look at that. That is stunning. And then this Peacock is just as beautiful. So it's a nice like burnt orange. And that's what it looks like shiny. That burnt orange with like that little bit of um, that fine gold glitter in it. 
And then we have the peacock color. This also has like a, a very, very slight shimmer to it, which is really, really beautiful. Love this color as well. I really actually love this entire collection. We also have charcoal. Look at that. That's really pretty. Yeah, that's a really nice dark gray. So yeah, these are all of the colors swatched out. Absolutely loving how each and every last one of these look. I love this collection, to be honest. Like, it is so beautiful. Like, she did a really good job with this collection. So yeah, this is what this collection is looking like swatched. I must say, I am very impressed. Um, I did also go ahead and swatch them on these so that I could put it on the lid instead of having to look at the bottom of it. But you guys, they swatch beautifully. So I found that with these acrylic powders, you just need to, um, when you pick up your bead, wait for five seconds, place it down, wait another five seconds, and it's like the perfect consistency to work with. So I would highly recommend these acrylic powders. They are absolutely stunning and they perform very, very well. I use the Young Nails Anonymous for my swatches and yeah, as you all can see, they all turned out beautifully. Um, definitely make sure you all um, go and check her out. Uh, again, it's Eden's Rose. Um, I purchased this collection during, I think she was having like a Black Friday sale or a little bit after Black Friday. And it was well worth it for sure. So make sure y'all are out here supporting black businesses and women owned businesses. Like we have to stick together and show each other support. So I love that she came out with this collection. It's really beautiful, loving the powders. I'll definitely be purchasing more. Like, yeah, these are really top notch. So yeah, um, I hope you all enjoyed this video. Let me know if you all know of any other companies that are small women owned that I should maybe look at or check out. Um, there was one lady, um, I think her name is Leah Low Nails. Um, I know she has like um, a little shop where she, I know she has an sh online shop and she does custom acrylics as well. So I almost purchased from her too, but I ended up going with Eden's Rose. So I might go and check out her collection. But yeah, I hope you all enjoyed this video. Um, I do upload every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. If you all like what you saw here, definitely stick around. Join the happy family. I love to have you. And as always, you guys, leave some love in the comments down below. And I'll see you in my next video. I hope you all have a wonderful, awesome, spectacular day. Bye.